Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quarter Miss Machine. So for today's story time, we're going to be talking about my worst Airbnb experience part 2. I have done a part 1, I will make sure I include it up here so you guys can check it out. But yeah you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. That helps me a lot. Turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms because if you follow me on there, you already know where this story is going, okay? My Instagram, my Snapchat, my TikTok, and my Twitter will be linked in the description box down below for your convenience. And yeah you guys, let's get started. So we booked this place and checked in at 4.30. You know, checking was at 4 p.m., but we checked in at 4.30 p.m. And like I said, if you guys did not watch the first one, we had to book this place in a rush because the first Airbnb we had had a bunch of bed bugs. And we got bit, like I said, make sure y'all watch that video. So we got to that place around 4.30. Checking was at 4. The very first red flag we saw was the elevator. Tell me why it was only one elevator working. All the other ones were not working. And... The building was at least 14 stories. It was a big building. So you could imagine how much we had to wait for that elevator to come down. And on top of that, there was a long line to take that elevator. That was the first red flag. I'm talking about we had to wait in line to take an elevator. Uh-uh. That does not look good or sound good to me. But we were like, okay, let's just go and see. We take the elevator, we get upstairs. We walk into the place, the first thing we realized is the smell. It smelled like cigarettes and mold mixed together. Disgusting. I'm talking about disgusting. Alright? So the fact that it smelled like smoke and mold got us really, really worried. We started like looking around, like, you know, checking the place out. We first went to the bedroom, you know, and it had like two beds. One bed was broken. Like, this is crazy. As this side is standing as it's supposed to, but that one you see, so we don't curtain down there, so very, very uncomfortable. I'm like, wow. Okay, so we go to the bathroom, we check. You can tell the place was not like thoroughly clean. Mind you, we are going through a panoramic, okay? You're supposed to be really, really cleaning places, okay? Because there's a virus going around. So why is this place looking like someone barely cleaned it? Why? Okay, then we go on the living room, right? So my sister sits down. Tell me why the sleeper sofa sinks. It's broken, so it goes right in. I'm like, not another thing happening. At this point, I'm, I was, I was shocked. Okay, I'm like, are you serious? So we check everywhere. Like I said, it did not look overall. It did not really look as clean. But then I was like, what are we gonna do at this point? So I reached out to the host again told them what's going on, and then my sister was like, you know. I got this place on a rush because we had to go uh, from the place with bed bugs. Let, let me just go ahead and look at the reviews. So my sister started looking at the reviews. People are complaining about that couch, that sleeping sofa being broken and stuff like that. So I was like, wow, are you serious? So people had left reviews of the sofa being like that and the place not being clean and stuff like that. But because we were rushing out of the other place, we couldn't really like pay attention and read the reviews. So I'm telling the host everything that's going on. I'm like, people have complained about this in the past. You guys did not take off the issue. What is going on? This is not good. This is not right. This is not even good for your business. I'm telling them all these things. And the person was like, oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but our maintenance team works from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So they will only be able to assist you guys tomorrow. Are you serious? Wow, mind you, I said we walked in there around 4 30, right? So we have to stay there till the next day around 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. to be assisted by the maintenance team. So I was like, Are you serious? She was like, Yeah, that's all we can do. And we you know you can stay over tonight, and then we're gonna give you guys partial refund tomorrow. I'm just like, 
sleep where it's three of us how are we all gonna sleep in one full bed it wasn't even a queen bed how is three people gonna sleep in one full bed the sofa is broken and the bed is broken i started sending them pictures and social like, thank you for the pictures but like i said our maintenance team will only be able to assist you tomorrow between 11 a.m to 2 p.m Ooh, child things are gonna get easier yo that's exactly what was going through my mind. I was like, all right, but we cannot sleep here. And I told her about the smell. So she was like, I'm sorry, but we inspected the place before you guys came in and there was no smell. I'm like, it's literally three of us in here. And one of us has asthma. So this smell is not it. And we are not crazy. We know what we smell. We know what cigarette smells like and mold. Like, come on now. Okay. So she was like, well, our maintenance team will come in tomorrow to check it out. I was like, we cannot sleep here. Someone has asthma. First of all, my sister was like, she has to get out. She was like, yeah, we need to walk out of here. I've been here because at that time we were already in there for like an hour. She was like, yeah, I can't take this smell. We have to go out. Let's go grab something to eat. Let's go do something because I cannot be in here anymore. So I told them, I was like, we're not going to be able to sleep. Like I said, it's only one full bed available. Sofa is broken. Bed is broken. How are we going to fit in one bed? She was like, well, the, the maintenance guy will come in tomorrow. Like I said, like she just kept telling me this. And I was just like, all right. I'll make sure when the maintenance guy comes tomorrow, I'm here, but we're not going to be able to sleep here. She was like, okay, we're just going to give you guys a partial refund then. And I was like, all right. So the next morning, the lady reached out to me and was like, did you guys end up checking out of the place? If you guys did, where did you leave the key? And I was like, we did not sleep there last night, but I have the key with me. And can you tell me exactly what time your maintenance guy will come to the place so I can be there and show them exactly what we are talking about? And she was like, they work between 11 a.m., to 2 p.m. and I was like I have things to do I'm not gonna sit at that place and wait for the maintenance guy can you please tell me exactly what time they can come and then she was like okay the maintenance guy is gonna be there around 12 30 and I was like, all right I'll be at the place around 12 30 so I can show them what I'm talking about she was like okay cool around 12 o'clock we came to the place and we waited for the maintenance guy he came like at 12 40 and then we showed him what we we're talking about this guy said that couch cannot be fixed is sunk in like they just need to replace the couch and he went in the room like i said i will include picture y'all will see him fixing the bed he went and fixed the bed mind you after he fixed the bed he literally just you know tightened the screws and he said he's done i said okay so after the maintenance guy left we went and checked out the bed and once again it was wiggling like i'm talking about badly like i said you guys will see the proofs here on the video so you guys know what i'm talking about maintenance guy came to fix the bed but he's still extremely shaky he just left, but it's still very, very shaky. I don't know if you can see that. Like, it was shaking. And I'm like, what did this man really fix? Okay. So, I texted the host again, and I was like, the maintenance guy just left, and the bed is still broken. It's still shaking. Like, this is not good. Not even for us, but for whoever's going to book this place next. Y'all need to fix this issue. And then she was like, okay, thank you for telling me. I also sent her pictures. And then she was thank you for the pictures. So less than 20 minutes after the maintenance guy left, he came back and he had like a piece of wood in his hand. He was like, all right, I think this will fix the issue. And in my head, I was like, oh, she probably told him that we said, you know, the issue wasn't really fixed. So I was like, okay, cool. So I let him in. He went ahead and, you know, he did his thing. And after that, he left. And then I was like, thank you. He said, you're welcome. I think everything is set now. I said, I hope it is. So he left, we went again and checked the bed once again. It was still shaking, but not as much as before, but you can still, you know, feel it shake. And I was like, at this point, this is ridiculous. We're not going to stay here anyway. So, yeah, I told the lady, I was like, yeah, he came back for the second time. It's still shaking, not as much as before, but it's still shaking. Y'all just need to replace the bed. Y'all need to replace the couch. He even said, y'all need to replace the couch. She was like, oh, okay, thank you for letting us know. Make sure you leave the keys downstairs when you guys leave, and I will give you your partial refund so i told the lady i was like i don't want a partial refund i want a full refund especially since i did not sleep in this place last night she was like no we can only give you a partial refund sorry about the inconvenience i hope you guys can understand and i was just like wow we decided to just go downstairs and check out so when we got downstairs there were no one at the receptionist desk no one was there and i was just like wow it was like around 1 32 p.m and i'm like at this time you're supposed to be here like that's when people are coming in and out of the hotel why isn't anyone here anyway so i just took the key left it on the keyboard of the computer on the receptionist desk took pictures sent it to the host and i was like we left the key on the keyboard there was no one there and yeah we left we are out
she was like all right thank you sorry for the inconvenience i hope you guys understand let me know if you want a partial refund other than that there's nothing we can do and i was like anyways i need a full refund because what 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 am i paying for like she stopped replying to me to this day okay she stopped it's been two days already by the way so i've been writing her writing her writing her she's not replying since she no longer replies to me i decided to open a case refund case and tell me why this lady refunded me $35. $35. It was about like $293 for those two nights that we booked. Uh, almost $300. And she refunded me $35. I opened the case this morning and right before filming this video, I saw that she refunded $35. And then I just wrote her. I was like, at this point, I will take the partial partial refund, but $35 is not the partial refund. Like, I'm so mad right now thinking about it. Like, $35? That's insulting. Anyways, if there's anything else, I'll come up and I'll update you guys. But I hope she can at least give me half of that money. At least $150 or $140. Like, half of the money I paid for, okay? I'll take that and... Here's the video. At first, I wanted to include a name on the video. Then I was like, let me not even give them free promo because some people will still watch this video and go book with them anyways. But I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys that. But if you guys want to know exactly what places I'm talking about, DM me. I'll send it to you guys. Literally, DM me or send me an email. My email is right down below. And I'll tell you guys and send you guys the exact listing I'm talking about. I don't mind doing that at all, okay? I want to make sure that none of you guys lose your money or waste your time going to these places. Whether it's my Airbnb part one or two, if you guys want to know the place, I would send you guys the listing and tell you guys exactly who the host were. Alright, All right, you guys, that's it for today's story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you are new. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I truly appreciate you. And you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. To follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok, the link will be in the description box down below. Once again, if you guys would like to know the exact places that I booked and I had this experience at, DM me, email me, I'll make sure I share those with you guys, I do not mind, I'll catch you guys on my next one, bye guys